Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you one of the quickest and easiest ways to create a customized puzzle and activity book to sell on Amazon KDP by using ChatGPT and BookBolt. BookBolt allows you to easily create a variety of activity and puzzle pages such as word searches, crossword puzzles, and mazes with just a click of a few buttons. If this is your first time creating a book for Amazon KDP, then I would highly recommend you start off by watching my other video linked above on creating a low content journal first. And for the rest of you, let's get started. So in a previous video, I have created a BookBolt tutorial which shows you all the awesome things that BookBolt could do to help supercharge your KDB business, including products research, ready-made interior pages, as well as cover design capabilities. So if you're interested in checking out these capabilities, please take a look at the link linked above as well as in the video description below. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on the puzzle and activity page creation capabilities that BookBolt offers to us. So to get started, you'll need to make sure you have a BookBolt Pro account. So if you already have a BookBolt Pro account, you can skip this step. Otherwise, to get a BookBolt Pro account, the cost is approximately $19.99 per month. However, if you use the subscription link that I've provided in the video, description below, you will be entitled to 20% off your subscription by using the discount code that I've included next to the link. Most importantly, make sure you take advantage of the three-day free trial that BookBolt offers through the link to make sure you get a chance to test it out and try out the tool before you start paying for your subscription. The difference between a newbie account and a pro account is not that different. The only difference is that the pro account basically includes everything that the newbie account has. And then in addition to that, it also includes the puzzle creation software, which we will be using today. Okay, so once you've logged into BookBolt, what you want to do is come down to here and click on Create, and then go to BookBolt Studio. And then what we want to do is create a new project. And so you get a few options here. You can either just create a cover, create an interior. What I'm going to do is create both cover and interior in BookBolt today. Our project name will be Puzzle and Activity Book Demo. And then trim size, you can really pick any trim size you want. Most of the time, the activity and puzzle books that I see on Amazon KDP are 8.5 by 11 inch. So I'm going to do that. And the interior is black and white interior with white paper. And I will have bleed. Page count is really up to you. You can go up to, you know, even hundreds of pages. But for a demonstration, let's just put 24 for now. And I'm going to click on create project. And you can see that it's already loaded the cover template for you. And then you can have, you'll have the 24 pages here, which you can add our puzzles. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a crossword puzzle. And I'm going to actually start off by going to ChatGPT to help me generate some ideas. So let's say in my mind, I already have decided that I want to make an activity book that is related to cats. So what I can do for my crossword puzzle, at least in one of the pages is, and let's say I know I want 10 words on one page. Um, please pr provide me with 10 words and clues related to cats for a crossword puzzle. And you can see that ChatGPT very quickly has started to generate some of the keywords for us, which we can just leverage for our crossword puzzle. Obviously, you can also create your own words as well as your own clues without leveraging ChatGPT, but this is a great way to save some time. Okay, so the next step is we're going to open up an Excel document and basically copy and paste each of these words and clues into the Excel. And you want to put the clues right next to the word. Okay, so once you have all the words and clues pasted into the Excel, you would want to save it as a CSV. So make sure select as type, you would pick CS, 
v right here and then save okay so once we have our csv file saved we're going to come back into book bolt and we're going to start creating our crossword puzzle so the first step you need to do is to click on this icon here page templates and then once you get here, these are all the ready-made templates that are available to you within BookBolt. Uh, because we're creating puzzles, we can go to the Pro Only, just to make it easier for us to find. And we're looking for the crossword puzzle right here. Now you get to pick which page you want your crossword to appear on. Let's just say I want it on page one. I'm going to click Next. So this is where you get to customize your crossword puzzle. Usually I do like to leave some margin on all sides. So I'll put one inch on all sides. And you can customize your font size. There are a lot of fonts you can pick from. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And you can also customize your font size, font color, etc. For now, let's put in the file, the CSV file that we had previously saved and upload it. So max words per page is important that you match the number of words that you have in the CSV file that you're uploading. So in our case, we actually have 10 words and you can add clues. So we're going to include the clues. You can choose, you know, do we want it in capital letters? So all these different customization options, I'm going to leave it as is for now. And I'm going to click submit. And we can see that the crossword puzzle has been created for us using the clues and the words that we have provided. If you find this a little too light, you can definitely customize the colors. You can turn it to, to black here. So it's a little easier to see. You can adjust the size. So if you want it bigger on the page, it's all up to you. And so you'll see all the clues that we have put in there and it's created the crossword puzzle for us in just a few clicks. You can even customize your page a little more by adding graphics. So we can come here and what you want to do is come to Pixabay, which has a huge selection of graphics that you could use. So I'm going to search for cat and let's see what we can use. This one's pretty cute. So let's say I want to pick this because ideally I want something that's black and white because I'm going to be printing in black and white. So I'm going to add this in the corner just so our pages look a little bit more fun and it's really up to you where you want to put it let's say i want to put it here and there we have it our crossword page is completed okay so next i'm going to show you how to create a word search on bookbolt so i've already went to chat gpt and asked it to give me nine words related to the types of cats which i could use it for my word search and I've already put those into an Excel, which I've saved into a CSV file and it's ready to be uploaded to BookBolt. So now we're gonna come back to BookBolt and we're going to come back here to page templates. Once again, go to pro only so that we could find it more easily. And we're going to go to word search. I'm gonna click on the page where we want our word search to appear. So for me, I'll click on page two and click next. Again, I prefer to have some sort of margin around the page, but it's really up to you. So I just put one. Again, fonts can be customized. Font size can be customized as well as the color of your words. Max words per page. This is where you want to make sure the number here matches the number of words that you're going to upload with your CSV file. So I'm going to put nine because I have nine words in the CSV file that I'm about to upload. And then I'm going to see, you can also add solution after the puzzle pages if you choose to. So I could, let's say if I click that, I'll show you what that looks like. And we're going to go choose CSV file, which is the word search demo file. Click on open and submit. And there we go. And again, if you think it's too light, you can change the color back to black. You can adjust the size. And there you have it. And if you go to the next page, you should be able to see the solutions and you can make, move that page to the very end if you prefer, but it'll tell you where the answers are. And that's it for the word search. Okay, so finally, I also want to show you how to create a maze on BookBolt and it is super easy. Once again, click on this icon, go to Pro Only and find the maze and there are different shapes that you could choose from so let's say if I, I want this one I'll just click on that 
click on this page and click next again you can do the margins or not uh, and maybe line color I'll choose black just so it's a bit darker one template per page or you can have multiple templates per page but I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to hit submit and there you go again you can add some graphics just to make it a little more fun so let's say if I go to Pixabay here and search for cat let's see if we can find an image that we want to use And then maybe I can add another one up here. Put this one. And there we go. Okay, and now we can come back to the cover template and start creating our cover. And it's really up to you how you want to design it, but I'm just going to show you as an example how you could go about doing that. So let's go back to cat and see what we can find because our theme is cats for our book. So let's say we want to pick... Uh, let's say I want to pick this just to see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty cute. So now I'll need a background. So for the background, I'm just going to create a rectangle for the color that I want. send it to back and change the color to something that I like maybe we can do like that maybe that and I'm going to add another rectangle just so I can put my words. I'm going to think about what's the best way. I might need to move this up a little bit. Maybe bring it to the front. can change this color. And I'm going to add some words and we could really pick any style we want. I'm just going to do regular heading. I'm going to take this and paste it in here. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to change this to white just so you can see the word search. Just to add a bit of a design element to it by adding the word search in the back. And that looks pretty good. So in the back, you can add a description. We can also add a few preview pages to the back. Uh, so just as an example, put this back. there we go. We have completed our cover. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time.